Welcome back, everybody. This is episode six of Ancestors Humankind Evolved. And uh, my plan for today, or this episode, is I've been thinking about how I want to... Oops. I want to kind of move our settlement down here more permanently. Well, not permanently, but move it from up there in the the waterfall area that we started out in I feel like we've gotten to a point where this is kind of a, a good spot for us but I think before we move everybody it would be a good move if we kind of made some more stockpiles of resources you know we've got our cocos but if we did that with more resources you know, that could be pretty good. Wait, why didn't you pick up some? I guess that's all that's around here now. But that's the stuff for... Oh yeah, I can start construction. That's for making the beds. Technically, we could take, like, this stuff. We have a small pile of it over here. Put it in the pile. We're pilers. He teleported. What the? Did you get some from further away? That's sick. Good strat. I like that. Now it seems like I'm sensing something nearby and I don't know what. But I keep seeing my my stuff flicker as if there's a snake or something nearby. That's the dead pig. Berries. More berries. I don't know. I don't know what's flickering my like adrenaline or whatever. A granite rock hiding spot you know what if our goal is to gather stuff it might be a better idea to like um, bring more monkeys have a couple of us not just two but even more so let's uh, go back up to home base and bring I think we had another elder so we could bring another elder Take these. Huh. like this I'm trying to go over here wait did these rocks go back on top of what they were on top of what the fuck well everybody's still back here Hello, hello. How's everybody been holding up? Long time no see. 
Let's get a drink while we're here. you got there I, I read that they don't drink and eat if they're holding something yeah see he wasn't drinking before and now if we eat everybody around here is gonna eat too Yep, everybody finds something to eat. <laughs> so you're our other elder. I want you to follow. gonna take some sticks with us oh everybody's grabbing sticks oh man okay make a big pile guys <laughs> I thought only the ones following me would do it Dude, look at start construction. Oh, so you could make a stick house. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have you take this. And I'm gonna take one too. I'm gonna alter mine though. I don't know where Gare went. Hey Gare, where are you? Fiber. Another dead monkey up there. Fruit. Dead monkey. Man, if Garrett died somewhere, that's gonna make me pretty sad. But it's possible. Down there, maybe? No. What about here? Rhett, I don't know what happened to Gare. I'm getting tired. Let's pry up some of these. The reason I want this is because one of these is gonna have mud, probably. Now, is this mud? No, no, no. Nothing. 
What is it? Basalt. No, that's not what I want. So where can I maybe muddle be in here? This could be mud. I think that's mud. So we're gonna leave off our mud here. I think we'll end our expedition too. Lie down and sleep and shit. And we'll sleep way into the morning. Make sure that we're fully rested. Let's check what we can do Intelligence what was the one before this range for detection of non-edible resources and this would be Identification Automatic of resources same will be available Once connected, walking in shallow water will be a little bit faster. Hey. Wasn't there another up here? Oh, that's higher success using a tool. Let's connect the chance of dropping an item following a dodge will decrease. Oh, is that why I would always drop my item? And what's this? Intelligence. Once connected, the speed of environmental analysis will be greater. Okay, so just faster. That's not bad. I think let's just get some more neuronal energy. Save it for a little bit. And... I'm gonna... Drop this here. Let's get a drink. Slept for like, uh, 14 hours. That's a long sleep. Really thirsty. All right, let's get some food in our bellies. Man, y'all took all the food. Give me some of that. Y'all taking all the food still. Let me smell some of that. Mushrooms, I don't know about that. That's a person. Those are crack cocos. Oh, what's up there? Dead. Oh, wait, that's farther away than it looks. Okay, what's up there? Berries. 
Oh wait, that's not berries, right? That's uh, it's those red leaves. You can eat those, I think. I can't smell them now. Oh. No, they're there. There we are. Yeah, let's get some of this to eat. Should we get the dead body of our oh it's right in a bird nest it's a good way to die again trying to recover a body what if I jump into the water I think Gare might have died not gonna lie Okay, but we're still gonna take we're gonna take this stick. You're gonna take mud. Yeah, tell you to do the same thing. Switch your hand. Give. You hold on to that. We're gonna take the obsidian scraper too. Gee, the rain is really loud. on me, but I'm trying to see if Gare is anywhere around. never followed I see gear down here care what you doing he's just chilling saying oh, I liked it down here isn't that why we're settling this place I thought it was, I thought we were, cause it's nice here. <laughs> okay, let's leave the obsidian scraper here. Um, I'm gonna grab this and add it to the pile here. And I'm gonna take the mud. Mud will go here. Your stick, please. The stick's gonna go... We're gonna put our sticks... <gasps> the carcass is gone! I didn't even get that much meat from it! Oh, man. We're gonna put our sticks right here. Wait, is that a bone? I think that's a bone. Let's take a look at it. Hard bone. 
Bone goes here. This is kind of be gonna be our weapon storage. Sharpened sticks go here. Oh, and I'm gonna have gear follow too. And now, Gary, you follow me. What's with the music? Sounds like something creepy is happening. Grab sticks. Let's make a pile. Now, add it to the pile. Okay, that worked. And now let's start our construction. Oh. Branch barrier. That's not what I was expecting. So we can climb that, but enemies might not. So it would have been a lot better if I put it like around this path. Oops. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a fancy wooden house. Well, you know, not a house, but some kind of nesting area. Where are you going for your sticks? Oh gee, you didn't have to didn't have to go all the way over there. Did you both only have one? Oh no, you've got more. Okay, so I'll grab one and then I'll switch hands till you guys do the same. Add to the pile, and you all do that too. Oh, and these cocos are probably, there's probably more cocos. So where are you guys gonna go for your cocos? There were cocos in the river? Oh, they have probably fallen in there. Smart. More cocos for the pile. And now, let's get more, more dead branches. So did you guys all grab two or do you just have one each? I was trying to see if if I did it faster without waiting for them to complete the previous uh, 
command to see if they would follow through on both, but it seems like you have to wait for them. We've got a lot of sticks now. Let's get as many as we can though, because it seems like resources regenerate. So, you know, harvest as many as we can. have two each seems like that worked we've got a bunch of sticks now um, what else should we harvest let's harvest more of these We're stockpiling. Are you guys going to follow directions? putting yours in <gasps> the piles full probably oh mine oh so are you guys gonna take it from our reserves now or are you gonna go searching for it <laughs> elsewhere okay Oops. Okay, let's use our senses and I want to sense cocos. Hey, that was a cocoa, right? Okay, let's go get that. Oh, a lot of cocos around here. I've never really paid attention to like the resource concentration in these areas, I think. You guys are not doing what I told you to. I can shake it. Shake the cocos onto the ground. Uh, 
Oh, missed. I'm gonna shake this one too. Up cocos. Come on, guys. You can do better. More cocos. Okay, we should each have two cocos. It's hard to. It, it feels just not quite as smooth as you'd hope it would be. To get them to follow orders. You've got two. Perfect. And you've got two. And it's getting late enough, you know, we might as well lie down and sleep until the morning. They're eating, imagining a feast and a fight. All right, we're still pretty good on food, water, and sleep. Let's just get a little bit of a drink. Today, let's gather some minerals, rocks and stuff. I guess we could make this rock here our rock pile center. They aren't doing what I want them to do. Let's add the pile. Where are you going? And why do you not look so good? Is that Gare? Yeah, that's Gare who doesn't look very great. What's the matter? 
You're cold? Oh. Oh, well, the way you get over being cold is the red leaves. Oops. Yeah, doesn't that feel a bit better? Let's stockpile some of these for when people get cold. Yep, down here in Food Central. Oh, is that what those like lines on the screen mean? It's like, oh, you're cold? Let's see if I can sense or smell some more red leaf. Oh, well, it's. Yeah, I guess not. There. Now I'm fine from cold. Go add him to the pile. I mean, it still feels slow, but you gotta figure it's way faster than just doing it yourself. I've only been taking elders with me though, because, you know, if they die. Nobody cares. They couldn't reproduce anyway, right? Are you guys coming? Okay, let's make our pile even bigger. Okay, I think we've got a good amount of red leaves. Let's go and do what I originally wanted to do and get more types of minerals. We've got a scraper here. We'll try to kind of keep it in the same area. And what kind of rocks are these? Okay, and let's go take these rocks back. What kind of rocks were those? Oh, those are all granite rocks too. Okay, we've got we've got a lot of granite. Oh, <laughs> 
So we got two piles of granite now. We, we got enough granite. I'm gonna take those two branches. And, hmm. I guess I'm going to take this stick. They should not bring anything. And we'll go and see if we can find other minerals. Maybe some obsidian, some basalt. Maybe we'll find some at higher elevation, although... What was that? That's basalt, hey, look at that. But maybe still we'll find something up here. Uh, not really. Kapok fiber. That would be good to collect some of. Dang, you can really see farther away when you're standing. Okay. Let's get that granite. Or, no, basalt. Basalt. Whoa. And we'll drop it here. I'll take one from you. At the pile. Everybody do that. Look at that. Now let's go get some kapok fiber. Why is it so much harder to see now? Let's go get that. Or is that stuff too far up? That's pretty far. Let's go back up here again. The problem with Kapok fiber is it's, it's not in a very safe place to harvest, you know? Is there any in... Oh, I think there's some in this. Yeah, this is the low hanging kapok fiber I wanted. Let's get that. Am I thirsty? I might be thirsty. My uh, stamina bar is not looking good. Yeah, it looks like I was pretty thirsty. Any food around? Looks like there's some food over on the other side of the stream.
It's pretty easy just to get lost in this game. There's always something to do, something to harvest. So hungry. Alright, I think we've eaten enough. Porking down. What's this right here? Granite, no, we're we're fine on granite. Let's go get that kapok fiber. Right there. I'm gonna drop that and grab that. And they should mimic that. I don't really care where they got their kapok fiber As long as they have two and they aren't dead And why don't you look good now your bone broke no Oh there's gear Hey, Gary's got two. Do you have two? You don't have two. Why don't you have two? Rhett, you lazy bitch. Wait, can you at least... Oh, you do have two. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, one was the one that I dropped. So, there is that. <laughs> oh, well. We'll make a small drop-off pile for these two. How about right on this rock? Give me one of yours. And add the pile. Everybody do the same. Come on, gear. We got kapok fiber. Uh, I wonder what else we should get. Oh, right, I could. Oh, we need obsidian. That's what we need. So we have to go back up to our original base. And bring back some obsidian. Any food on the way? 
There's some berries. Just don't eat the non-ripe ones. Oh, somebody ate bad berries. You can tell by the color. The pale ones are not good. I guarantee you, somebody is going to be holding their stomach. Yeah, Gar got sick. Motherfucker. There should be kapok fiber in this tree. I think we're good on it, though, actually, so. We don't need to worry about that. Getting back up. Oh, How's everybody doing? We got our obsidian up here. Lie down. Let's see what we can evolve. The communication, I would assume. Uh, we're really not getting better at communication. Mimic. Oh, that's for intimidation. That's for intimidation. Oh, and I didn't level this. Wait, no, I did. Oh, I didn't level this. Altering a particular item? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and see now, that's more intimidation. So we just need to go out and intimidate a bunch of shit. <laughs> I guess that's, that's kind of what it seems like it's suggesting to me And what's this one building once connected one less item will be needed to complete construction. All right, that's nothing huge, but And that unlocks some some new building stuff this more attack oh and what's this one stripping once connected the success rate uh, success rate of an alteration without a tool would increase nothing like crazy useful More train. Oh, a genetic mutation will be needed for this one. So once you get far enough out, you can't actually train for them anymore, I guess. Like this one. More train needed and a genetic mutation. And that's kind of like this one. We got genetic potential. See, so can. Metabolize more food, I guess Hey, and we got four reinforcements now. I wonder why What allows for more reinforcements? Well, we definitely expanded a lot Two births, two deaths, five hours. 
What day is it? There's a way to see how many days have passed, right? I thought there was. Oh, it's day 17. So let's sleep. Sleep until the morning. That should be like seven, almost eight hours to sleep. And tomorrow, let's build some new nests. So if we build new nests. Oh, right, we're up here. Oh, we were gonna bring obsidian down. Wait, how much is there? Not much. Uh, here, take that. Uh, take that. Hey, you're supposed to swap hands. Why are you such a bitch? Here, you're gonna take that one. Oh, we're all gonna stand up too? Dang, so we all stand up when I stand up. That's cool. Now apparently walking through water You develop skills during that too I'm getting the neuronal energy You can see it pulsing in that bottom right Let's get a little drink What are you doing with the cocoa? Give me that cocoa. All right, let's take that obsidian down and make some nests and then bring the whole clan. Am I thirsty again? Hey, matured neuron. Okay. Let's check out what that one is. spiky stick here again and you give me that and you give me that so now we got obsidian How do I make an obsidian scraper again? Okay, it's actually just banging them together, but I don't want to do that because 
The basalt chopper is better than that. I think I can do it this way. Hey, there it is. Let's analyze it. There we go, basalt chopper. And so now I can take this, go down and get one of our sticks. And get it with this. And it should be pretty fast. And look at that, spiky stick. Now I can get another stick. And it's good to go. So we can put together an arsenal of spiky sticks. My bad. Add pile. I think we want like a bunch of these. Nine or ten. Because we want enough so that every adult monkey can hold one and like two left over. Because if we don't have two left over, making a pile and telling them all to put it back in it is going to be a pain. It's a lot easier if it's already there. The music's doing some weird shit. I don't know why. <laughs> you can't construct anything with these, can you? No. That's a lot of spiky sticks. Uh, it's kind of hard to count. Let's do one or two more just in case. Damn it, I threw it again. It's because, like, it doesn't start the alteration process when you expect it to, it takes a little bit longer. Spiky stick and last one. Oh, 
Did it not finish? There we go. And let's put our grant chopper back up here. Or basalt chopper. What do you think would happen if I used it on the bone? I don't want to break the bone, but that would be interesting. Um, and this is our, oh, this is our, what is it? Oh, it doesn't tell me what it is. <laughs> I have to do one of these Granite grinder now this Since you can't like hit things with it. It's only for grinding. What if I I took some of these Alter What is this? New food. Oh, grinded cut. Okay. Interesting. So I could get a whole group together and say, Hey, grind up some of this. And put it in the pile. Doesn't take very long. What's the matter with you? You're fine. What about you? You're fine. Oh, you guys just want to eat, probably. Well, let's go put the grinder up here. I think no need to dip into our stores. We can just eat this. You can probably grind this stuff too, eh? Now, I'll know if I've maxed out my new thing, because it'll say Neuron Complete or whatever, something like that. if I've already maxed it. Evolution. What do we got? Yep, that's from moving in shallow water. Once connected, walking on shallow water will be a little bit faster. So even faster. Whatever. Not much of a difference. And this one requires a genetic mutation, so can't unlock that. We've got a lot of neuronal, neuronal energy. If we can take a lot of this stuff. Now what do we have over here? More dodge? 
The clan members will have the ability to dodge and attack by themselves if they don't have a weapon in hand. That's a good thing to be able to do. Self-control. The tolerance to undergo successive attacks will increase. That's good. We're becoming fighters. Reaction time for the ability to respond to a threat will increase. Could go for that, but could go for this too. Do we have enough? Just enough. That starts connecting back with here. What's this? Success rate of using a tool. Oh, genetic mutation required. More training required. More training with what? Both strength control and dexterity will be advanced growth potential in combat abilities. So I have to fight. This one. To carry an item using both hands. How do I do that? Pull left button near a heavy or big item. To carry it using both hands. I haven't done that. Carry. Look at that. Big ass pile of cocos. And drop. Could I do it with these branches? Damn. It's tiring. Look at my stamina bar. Yeah, I'm drained now. I think I'm just getting sleepy, honestly. But let's see if we can max out the complete the neuronal whatever. Yep, there it is. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Movement speed while carrying and I am using both hands increases. Oh, but we didn't. We only got enough neuronal energy to unlock it, not to actually do it. In this greater distance to travel while moving on to less. Oh yeah, I suppose you can't carry something with both hands without walking on two legs. But it's sleep time. We'll get a good like uh, eight hours of sleep by sleeping here. A little over that. Right on time. We need to eat and, and uh, drink. But we will do that in the next episode. I think we've got most things prepared. We just need to make a couple extra beds. And uh, I think we're ready to bring the rest of the clan here. So we'll be able to do that next time. But anyway, thank you for subscribing and hitting that bell button. And as always, have a great day.